For more than a decade, design engineers have turned to the award-winning WebBench online design tools to create single-circuit or system-level designs. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Perry from Texas Instruments in Silicon Valley. As the best no-cost online design resource available, WebBench Designer has more than 2 million registered designs and a database of more than 850 TI products. And now, TI is announcing WebBench Schematic Editor, a revolutionary capability added to the WebBench design tools. With this major enhancement, you can quickly and easily edit the power supply design schematics you generate in the WebBench tool, letting you add additional circuitry to further enhance the functionality and performance of your circuits. And once you've edited your schematic, you can completely simulate the design within the WebBench tool. So, WebBench Designer now couples powerful design synthesis with a new ability to further change your design. Let me show you how it works. What I've got up in the WebBench tool on my screen is an existing power supply design that I've just created. And as you can see, the suggested schematic appears in the screen. Now, until now, you were not able to edit or change the suggested schematic within the WebBench tool. You could change parts within the schematic, but you could not alter the topology of it. Now, all you have to do with your design is move the button here and click to indicate that you want to copy and edit this design. And now you can see all the editing tools available to you. These are very common and handy, including editing functions as well as typical components you may want to insert. I'll choose the Pan tool and drag the schematic over here and make a selection within the schematic. Now let's say I want to add a filter to this design. So I'm going to add an inductor and drop that in. I can adjust that with the arrow keys. I'll move it over to the left a little bit so it hooks up to the wire. Now I'll put a capacitor in. I can right click on the part and that lets me adjust the placement. I'll rotate it. Now I can add wiring paths to the schematic. And with this tool, every time I click the mouse, I drop in a new vertex. To stop, I just hit escape. So, I've just added a filter component into my schematic. Now I'm going to use the tool to select my component. I just right click here and choose the select alternate inductor. You can now take advantage of free form access into the WebBench passive library, which has more than 40,000 components in it. So here, I will put a 100 nanohenry inductor into the design. So I'm going to set my upper bounds of 200. My upper current limit at 100 amps, because I want to look at the entire library. My lower bound is going to be set to 50 nanohenries. And my lower bound for current is going to be 3 amps, because I have a 2 amp design. I'll set my target for a 100 nanohenry and my target for the current rating of 3 amps. And now I hit the search button. And here we see the results of the search through thousands of devices in the library. And I will choose this one here, which I like because it has a very small footprint. Now, I want to change the name of these components. And so I'll just go back to the edit screen and select the inductor. On the upper left, I can change the name to L filter. And now I've just customized my schematic by adding a filter to it. So now what you want to do is run the simulation of this new design, and that uses that same SPICE-based simulator that you've enjoyed in WebBench for so long.
All right, my simulation is complete, and I can load the waveforms. So the waveform is blue is the simulation prior to the filter, and the waveform in red is the simulation after the filter. Now, once you're satisfied with the results of your simulation, you can actually export this fully customized schematic into any one of five popular CAD programs by selecting this function. You can see that the schematic matches the original one from WebBench, including all the symbols and even footprints. This can save a lot of time and reduce errors. With WebBench Schematic Editor, you have the only online tool that will create a custom design, synthesize from a few simple design requirements, and then allow you to edit and simulate your schematic. So, that's a quick overview of the WebBench Schematic Editor tool, a really groundbreaking development from TI. You can learn more at ti.com slash webbench editor. There you'll get a chance to try the new schematic editing function, and you'll see the other design resources within TI's Webbench Design Center. That will wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.